Well, Jim, I appreciate you coming to sit with us today to talk about seven simple steps to clean water. By the way, it's good to see elected officials can have a little fun. That's right. We wanted to make it fun to have, bring people's attention to it. And it's a very important issue. It really is. Yeah. So number one on the list, only rain in the drain. That's right. We're uh, storm drains are an important way of dealing with storm water as it comes in. And if you don't do that, if you don't keep your drains clean and things out of it, they get clogged or they can end up bringing pollution into this into our rivers. And I saw a lot of that the last few days. We had a lot of rain. We did have a lot of rain. And it's important to go ahead and remove some debris from in front of there, right? Exactly. If you if you near your house, if you have a storm drain that's covered with stuff, please clean it out. If, if you have the chance, it's street cars come I mean street cleaners come and do it, but if you see something, clean it up. Yeah. Number two. Fertilizing is very important. If you're if you're gonna fertilize your lawn, don't do it very often. In the spring and fall, really are the best times to do it. Other than that, it's it's not as effective, and you're allowing things that can get in through the stormwater into our systems, and that's not something you want to do. Well, there's chemicals in fertilizer. There are. The most important thing is nutrients. Um, phosphorus and nitrogen. The, you look for fertilizers that don't have phosphorus in them. There's a lot out there. My office has a program where we label them in, in hardware stores so you know that they're earth-friendly fertilizers. And probably on your website you have some of that kind of information. We have all these things on my website. Um, it's oakgov.com slash water. Uh, we have a lot of information on any, anything on, uh, having to do with water. Okay. Number three carefully dispose of cleaners chemicals and oils right, right. and this is this is people don't recognize you really can't just flush this stuff down the toilet storm drains go right uh, if, if it's a separated storm system storm drains go right into water as a rule they go right into a nearby stream or they're receiving waters anything that's put in the storm drains ends up in those waters uh, oil people throw oil away when they're changing their tires I mean oil please don't do that if you see somebody do that report it oil in the system it goes all the way through the system and it's very, very bad. And then number four, clean up after your pet. Again, everything that's on the ground when it rains ends up in the storm drains. That's, that's again, nutrients in that. There's things that make things grow, uh, bacteria I'm, grow. And I'm making a face. Stuff. I'm thinking about what needs to be cleaned up. I don't need that's it to right. end up in my water supply. If, if, you're, if your yard leads into a, into a storm drain or if, if you live near a water source, please clean up your, your dog leavings. It's, it's important. Number five. Don't clean your car. Don't uh, on on. If you clean your car on your driveway, it goes right into the storm drain. That again brings in soap, brings in chemicals off your car. Clean it on the grass. It'll soak into the grass. It's fine. It won't have a thing, and it, it, it filters the the water. Or take it to the car wash where they have systems the that I mean, retain this. Exactly. And, yeah. They they recycle their water, and that's the best way. That's the best way. Number six. What what's earth friendly landscape? Again, this is the the issue around fertilizers. Where if you put if you put things on the ground. Uh, if, Phosphorus goes right into lakes. It's the nutrients that work with bacteria to grow algae, and algae is a killer. We've Lake, had algae Lake Erie's been a big problem. With algae. Two years ago, they had a massive uh, algae outbreak, and they had to shut down their water intake. And that's that kind of thing can happen. Um, our intakes are safe in Michigan, but um, that kind of thing can happen in, in a shallow lake like that. Okay. Last but not least, number seven. Save water. If you can save water, do it. Don't use water if you don't have to. The more we save, the more resources we keep. So it's important to recognize our behaviors impact our environment, it impacts our community, impacts our planet's future. Absolutely does. And, and we are the water state. We're surrounded by 20% of the world's fresh water. We're, it's our moral duty to protect it. Absolutely. Hey, this is Paul. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you want more about fulfilling your American dream, go to Michigan Real Talk Facebook page. The link's in the description below, or check out more of our videos.